Is it too risky to book a summer holiday? The EU has recommended easing restrictions on non-essential travel from overseas, but we're still waiting on the go-ahead from our government. Yes, Boris Johnson has suggested that some foreign travel will be allowed after May the 17th, but says we don't want to see an influx of the virus from anywhere <coughs> else. Well, joining us to discuss this is Alan French, who is the boss of Thomas Cook and, surprisingly, <laughs> uh, says go ahead and, yes, book your holidays. But Professor John Ashton says don't do it. Professor John Ashton, are you suggesting that even if the government, with the success of the vaccination programme behind us, says that there are a certain of number of safe green list countries that we can go to, that we should go against the government and stay at home? I think we're getting mixed messages from the government. Um, I think it's premature, really, now. We've, uh, we're tantalisingly close to getting on top of this virus, and we need to secure that victory over the next couple of months. We saw what happened last summer when we eased off too early. So my um, advice is to hurry slowly, uh, we've heard Jonathan Van Tam tell us that the risk of the third wave is from new variants coming in. And you have to remember that Europe is really porous, that people come in and out of Europe from all over the world, and most parts of the world still haven't had the vaccine. So it's premature to do this. Let's just hold our nerve and uh, go to Wales. We've just seen how wonderful it is um, in Wales, let's go and explore our domestic environment this summer and look forward to something uh, else next year. Yep. Sean will be holidaying in Wales this summer, but um, Alan French, uh, it wouldn't help your business, would it, if we all holidayed at home? No, and I don't have the advantage of being able to speak Welsh. Um, but, you know, we, we talk to customers day in, day out, as you can imagine, because we're having to mo move people around and rebook holidays. Um, and one of the things that comes through is that holidays are really important to people, particularly after the year that we've had, um, where you know people now are really looking forward to doing things that they love with the people they love. And the, but they do want to do that safely and with certainty as to how they can get out and how they can return. And, you know, we've seen good progress on things like vaccinations and the roadmap out of lockdown. The next step is to open up borders safely. And we're looking forward to that. And, you know, the government's got great information. It wants to react on the back of data. So we're looking forward to countries opening up to travel to that are safe to go to and that we can get to and back again safely. So can you guarantee, as one of the UK's largest holiday operators, we've got 24,500 cases in a country like France at the moment, and cases also nearly 5,000 in Spain, are the latest data. Can you guarantee every holiday, holiday maker's safety if they go on holiday this year? No, but we are relying on the government to give us good advice as to where we can go to and how we can go and how we can return. And there's safety measures put in place, as I understand it, around the travel corridors, which will test people on the way out and test people on the way back. And there's varying degrees of testing depending on which travel corridors they're in, all of which is aimed at reducing risk. Mm, um, Professor Ashton, I'm not going to lie, uh, as soon as they open the doors, <laughs> I, I want to get out there. I want to be somewhere different. And I think a lot of people will feel like that. You know, we've been locked down, looking at the same four walls, at the same environment. Uh, not many people have travelled very far. They're quite keen to get some guaranteed sunshine and some proper rest and relaxation. And when I look at the numbers, for instance, you know, some of our most popular destinations, um, Yesterday, we had just under 2,000 new cases, but Greece had just over 1,000. Uh, same for Croatia. Portugal only had 58, 58 infections mm. yesterday. So there are countries which are much safer places to be than the UK right now. It's seductive, isn't it? Mm. But look what happened in Germany, who did very well last year, and then it went off course, you know. Um, you have to remember, if you're standing in a bar in Portugal having a drink, you may be sharing the same breath 
as somebody who's come from another part of Europe where there's high levels of the virus. Um, you know, it's not uh, as though you're guaranteed to be sharing breathing space, particularly indoors, with somebody who's come from a safe area. I wonder if you would go as so far as to say it's our moral duty not to travel. I'm not a Puritan, you know, I'm a libertarian and I like to be <laughs> pragmatic about these things. Um, but it's interesting, you, you know, and you look at Thomas Cook and you look at the history of Thomas Cook and its recent difficulties in staying in business, you know, now's the time for Thomas Cook to be imaginative and to innovate with the sort of holidays that people are increasingly wanted, more wanting, more adventure holidays, including in the British Isles. I mean, I've been talking to a local travel agent where I live who's doing the most amazing uh, holidays. But, the, you know, these smaller travel agents are using their imagination now this yeah, year. Except, what to except, offer people. Let me, but, but I don't want to speak for Alan French, but, I mean, <laughs> Mr French, if the government says there's a green light, you're hardly going to do something that wouldn't help your business, are you? No, we wouldn't. And look, I think the government's got data behind it. It's got great advice behind it. And looking at what's likely to be on the list on the 17th, the destinations look like having, um, you know, good safety around it. And I would say that a lot of the European destinations have got good protocols around making sure that um, COVID is well well looked after, well regarded in, in, in their hotels. All right, Anna French from Thomas Cook, Professor John Ashton, thank you very much indeed. Thank Professor you. Ashton wrote the book Blinded by Corona. <laughs> thank um, you. Uh, and good to see you both this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. Of course, we'll find out later in the week, possibly Thursday or Friday, tomorrow or Friday, what the actual rules and restrictions and yep. allowances from, are. From May the 17th, that's yeah, right. Yeah, we'll find out soon.